The European Pricing Indication Directive may require you to show a product's lowest price in the last 30 days when you announce pricing changes. Shopify has a helpful document explaining the directive. When it comes to tracking the lowest price, they assume it's something you can just do manually. Fortunately, you can use the AbleStar Bulk Product Editor to track and update the prior price of a product. After you've installed the app, it will keep a log of the price changes for all your products. You can use this information to display the product's prior price. There's two ways we can display the prior price. You can either store it in the compare price field or you can create a meta field to store the value. Using a meta field gives us more flexibility, so we'll use that here. First, we create the meta field in the Shopify admin. Once that's created, we'll go to the Bulk Product Editor app and refresh our meta field definitions. Now that we've created the meta field, it's just a matter of setting it in the app. We'll select the prior price meta field, set it to the lowest price for the last 30 days, and we'll run the edit. Once the edit's complete, you can see that the prior price meta field has been set to the lowest price for each product for the last 30 days. You can then update your theme to show this meta field in the way that you want. You can also use automatic product rules to automatically update the prior price field as soon as the price for a product changes. To do this, we create a rule, and for the field to edit, we select our prior price field and configure it in the same way that we configure the edit. We'll set the title to something that's easy to recognize, like prior price update, and we'll save changes to the rule. After you create a product rule, it's a good idea to run it against all matching products to make sure that the fields are up to date. And that's all you need to do. Now the prior price field will automatically update to the lowest price that each product has been at for the last 30 days.